What's up guys, Gary here with self -taught Dev. Today we are gonna learn how to make a liquid animation like this that just kind of follows your mouse around using CSS and JavaScript. So as far as getting this set up, we're gonna need an HTML file. We're just calling it bubbles.html. We've got some HTML boilerplate. We've got a styles.css file, a script.js file, and then we're importing the styles and the script here. Now, as far as HTML goes, all we're going to need to do is make a div and we'll just call this bubble wrapper. So we've got a div with a class of bubble wrapper. And that's all we're gonna need to do aside from the boilerplate stuff with the HTML. Next, we'll look at our styles here. We've got some basic stuff on the body, some margin zero, height 100 view height, and we're just setting the background to this color so it's not just the basic white screen. And then let's get started with our CSS. So we'll select the bubble wrapper. We're gonna say height 100%, width 100% as well. We're going to set the position to fixed and bottom to zero because we want the bubbles to just pop out of the bottom. And we're going to say overflow hidden and pointer events none so there's no pointer interaction with our animation. So that's all we need for the bubble wrapper. Now let's actually get what we need for the bubbles. And in here we're going to say height max 300 pixels, 30 view width. And width is going to be the same, max 300 pixels, 30 view width. We want the position to be absolute. And we want it to have a left of 50% and top 100%. We'll set the background to green and border radius to 100% so it's round. Otherwise, we'll just have a bunch of squares popping up on the screen and it'll look kind of weird. Now, last thing we need to do in the CSS is make the animation. So we'll make a keyframe animation here. We'll call this pop up. We'll say from to, and we want to use transform, translate, 50%, 0%. So that's defining our start and end point. And then at 50%, we want to say transform, translate, 50%, negative 20%. Cool, so now we've got our animation, let's add it to the bubble. So we'll say animation, pop up. Uh, what else do we want in here? We want it to last two seconds, and we want ease in out. And that should be about it for our CSS. Now we've just gotta make the function in JavaScript that detects when the mouse moves and places more bubbles. So first thing, let's say const and grab the wrapper. And that was a class bubble wrapper. And then we're gonna make our function. So we'll say const animate bubble. And that's gonna be an arrow function. And then inside here, we need to say const bubble equals document dot create element. And we want to create a div. And then bubble dot class list dot add bubble. So it gets the class bubble. And then last thing with the bubble, we want to style.left is going to be a template literal. That's not tilde. And that's going to get X. And then uh, pixels, if I can hit the right keys, geez. Cool, so that will make it pop up relative to the mouse. So now we need to add the bubble to the wrapper. So we'll say wrapper.append child. Um, we want to append bubble. And then lastly, we need to remove those from the screen. So we'll say set timeout. That's gonna be an arrow function. And we want to say wrapper.remove child bubble after two seconds. And then we've got our function. So outside of that, we need to say window.onMouseMove. We want to get the event. And then we want to say animate bubble with e.client x. So that'll get the position of the mouse on the screen. 
Uh, this will be the value that we set to left and that'll basically like put the bubble, make the bubble pop up relative to where the mouse is on the screen. So let's save and see if we have any errors in our console here. And it looks like it's working great. Um, seems a little slow though, did I? I might've put the wrong time in here. Let's make that one second and drop this down to one second as well. Uh, cool, let's go back here, refresh again. There we go, that seems a lot smoother. Cool, so are we slide in from the left and then the liquid kind of follows our mouse. We can move it around and the liquid just kind of like goes with our mouse. Sweet, so that is how you make a liquid animation that kind of follows your mouse. If you learned something cool in this video, give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm doing good stuff and I know I'm doing good stuff that helps you guys out. Hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more stuff about CSS and web development in general. Don't focus just on CSS, um, but that's what this is about. I think that's about it for this one, so I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Round one.